Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave, and with me today is... Tyler. And we're continuing the adventures of Franzi as we play Quest for Glory. Three. The Wages I of War. I have the power! Or something like that, anyway. Um, this is that a game, game audio that is loud. Yeah, I know. Let me see if I can... Down. Maybe? Nah, I, I'll deal with it. Um, this is a game that technically should not exist. Uh, as weird as that sounds. Oh, look, it's just crappy tur I thought maybe there'd be an intro. Okay. Um, and I will discuss that. Hey, look, we can import our character. Hooray! Do you remember what it is? Yeah, it's Franzi. Yeah. No, I thought it was just some weird name. It's Franzi Ba. Franzi Ba. Uh, so we did technically become a paladin in Quest for Glory 2. We're mm. sticking with wizard. Wizard. And then we could change it to thief or back to paladin if we wanted to. Oh, but no, God. we're gonna be a wizard. So here is Franzi. He is actually not a wizard, as you will remember. He is a wizard school dropout. I'm gonna turn this down because holy fucking shit. Yeah, you thought I was just being Jesus. unreasonable and complaining about that. Well, I mean, that's what you do. Well, um, <laughs> I mean, you have it coming. <laughs> but yeah, so Franzi is a wizard school dropout. Um, How come we successfully completed that? No, we, we completed the entrance exam and then said, told the wizards at the school, fuck you, no. And they were like, ah, well, you'll never right. be a wizard now. <laughs> Not a wizard by trade. It's true. A wizard by disposition. <laughs> so we're just going to keep upping our wizardry here. Uh, our wizardry! And then yeah. up our communications, because that's actually hard to increase. So we actually are pretty rocking in terms of magic. 250 is the highest that you can start with. Mm -hmm in uh, Quest for Glory 3 mm -hmm. um, without investing points in it because you ended Quest for Glory 2 with 200 points and then could use the wish to get 250 and anyway <coughs> excuse me so let's start the adventures of Franzi I thank you Rakish and my prince for answering my summons I have information for both of you as you know, three months ago in Razia, the evil Adavis attempted to unleash the Jinn Iblis in order to rule the world, yes I know we were there, well the prince was there. Remember this? Uh, cast magic missile at the brazier. <laughs> Bind Iblis to me for- and just kind of calmly walks in. We stole a candle with the, the fetch spell. You idiot! Spell of reversal protected you from his spells. Also reflected his spells. Hadouken! So then we did that. No, no, master, help me! Bounce your spell off the wall into the flaming brazier, knocking Adavis to his doom below. When Adavis died, his magical power was released, and I could sense the moment of his death. Such a release of power could be felt by skilled magi magic users all over the world. We didn't feel anything. Is that a knock? <laughs> Are you trying to imply something? <laughs> Still, there is some mystery concerning the death of Adavis. Look at that face, only a mother could love. What happened to that snazzy headband he was wearing? <laughs> it's very disturbing that the body of Adavis could not be found. Even with all my magic, I cannot determine who or what removed the body or what became of it afterwards. I believe the unbinding of Adavis' power may have, uh, may could well have other darker results. Now we are again in my house in Shapir. Hero, thanks for letting me know. You have become the Prince of Shapir by order of the Sultan. Rakish now desires to return to his home in Tarna. Last night I received this message from the sorceress Krisha in Tarna. Exposition, yay. Please tell Rakish oh he must return quickly to Tarna. There is serious talk of war here, and I, can th I think only Rakish can now bring peace. I believe there is more to this war than just the anger of two tribes. I believe that a demon has again broken through to this land and seeks to destroy us all. Again? Aww. In three days, a magical portal will open in Shapir to take Rakish back to Tarna. I suggest that if you, Prince of Shapir, truly wish to be a hero, you accompany Rakish. I am a fucking bona fide hero twice over, bitch. Don't fucking get in my shit. <laughs> God damn it. Wizard! Wizard! If there is a demon, it is probable it was released in this world by the death of Aravis. You must stop it and send it back to its own world. All right. Palace of the uh, Sultan of Shapir, three days later. It greatly grieves me to say farewell to such fine friends and honored guests. Rakish, you are a great aid to me, and I sorrow to see you return to Tarna. Thank God he's not speaking in riddles and it rhymes anymore. Yeah, definitely. 
Oh, great sultan, it has been an honor to serve you. Uhura, warrior of the Simbani, you have been most excellent guildmaster for the Adventurer's Guild and a gifted instructor of combat. Thank you for your services to Shapir. <laughs> Ooh, that haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget this my place, but it will be good to go home again. My son, it breaks my heart to see you leave. You will always have a home here in Shapir. We will never, ever come back. My gift for your leaving comes from the gnome. Keep on no, laughing. No, not him. <laughs> I, asked him, not for him. You, I asked him for something you might you would find useful. May it serve you well. And then a hug. Thanks, adopted dad. Sultan, the magical port of Tatarna appears. Farewell, all of you. May you find the peace you seek. So that's kind of what I like about this game, insofar as the way it's set up. We're going here as to be part of a peace conference. <laughs> or to arrange peace between two tribes on the verge of war. We're not going to kill some evil magic thing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, <laughs> but that's just Well, I mean, that's we're... just the nature of the game. Yeah. It is good to see you again, Krisha. It's good to be with you again, Rakish. <clears throat> Krisha, you have met Uhura of the Simbani village before. This is her son, Simba. Habari, warrior. It's good to see you again, Uhura. That son of yours looks like a strong and healthy young cub. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Farewell. She's going back to the Simbani village. Young hero about whom Aziza spoke with you. He's the adopted prince of Shapir and a most honorable man. <laughs> Which I think he says even if you're a thief. Well, I can sense that you're also skilled with magic. Why, yes, because I am a wizard. School dropout. Uh, Use of wizard. magic is forbidden upon the streets of Tarna in order to protect those without magic. Those lion people have really short legs. They look like corgis with, like, people <laughs> stuck where their heads should be. I was about to say they're dachshund lions. Yeah, dachshund lions. <laughs> uh, tell about Shapir... Okay, so first things first, speed up, volume down. Eh, maybe not that low. There we um, go. Okay, so before we get too far into this game, let me just explain how this game was not supposed to exist. Mm. The third game in the series, it was supposed to be a four-game series. The third game was supposed to be Shadows of Darkness. While they were plotting out Shadows of Darkness, they realized, oh shit, the Forces of evil in this game are way too much for the hero to realistically uh, accomplish after the second game. So they made this game in place to bridge the gap. Hence, we are now... Oh, for fuck's sake, is it doing this again? Oh my it's god. It's a single game training montage. <laughs> I mean, it ultimately ends up being important for other reasons. But, um... But yeah, this game technically should not have existed. Uh, ask about Tarna. You will find Ancient much to city, do here. Much to do. Line tars. Proud race, sometimes too proud for our own good. Western section of the with the humans. That is an adorable ribbon you're wearing in your tail there. <laughs> the magic portal, which right here is an example of my magic portal, can only be done through ritual. Tell me about rituals. Ritual is a series of actions and events used as magical spells. Most of my magic is done through ritual, as is most of the magic in this region of the world. Ah, you are very eager to learn, are you not, young wizard? I can teach you a spell which will allow you to channel your energy. Now is not the time to speak of spells, though, young mage. I must talk about R with Rakesh about many things first. Ask me about magic sometimes later, please. Does that mean we can learn the Hadouken? No. Are we going to Hadouken people? Uh... I will spend the next couple of days finding out more information about this war. We can speak more about this later. They're trying to tell me to leave because they're married and they haven't seen each other in a long time. <laughs> oh. In two days, I will stand before the Council of Judgment and speak of peace. I would like you to be there as well. Then we can journey together to the Simbini village. In the meantime, explore and enjoy Tarna. If you have any questions, you will find us here. Enter freely. You will be welcome at any time. Well, almost any time. After all, Rakesh and I need some time to, uh, speak with each other again after such a long party. Good day. <laughs> they're gonna bone. Be gone with you. Oh. Now are there souvenirs we can buy? No. Unfortunately, that was only added to the <coughs> second game remake. That makes me sad. It makes me sad, too. Oh, hi. You must be the Prince of Shapir people are talking about. Wow, I've never met a real prince before. Look at my apothecary, prince. Is this like a Cheech and Chong reference? Oh, hey, good to see you, man. He's a hippie. 
I understand that, but he looks like, a uh, Chong. What's your name? My name is Salim Nafs. That means healthy soul in Arabic. In numerology, I am an eight. I'm also a Libra. Oh, what? so he's like a college dropout. <laughs> this is the place to purchase pills and potions. I call it Salim's Holistic Health and Happiness Eclectic Energy Emporium. But you can call it an apothecary. I carry crystals and promote peace and pyramid power. How may I help you, sir? Well, I'm happy to sell you whatever you need to contribute to your physical and psychic well-being. I see by your aura that you're a hero, so I'll sell you the things heroes need. Your aura, um, the psychic rainbow of your soul that radiates around you. Your aura is particularly auspicious, you know. I thought that said suspicious for some reason. One pill makes you better, one pill makes you well, and the others that give you mana are the other ones I sell. Just ask Salim, I'm sure you'll find them swell. Aren't you, Salim? He's, so he sells mana, healing, and poison cure potions. There are no stamina pills in this game. You well, can you'll only just recover have to do stamina without. by healing. Really a lot more into pills than potions. Tarna doesn't have a recycling center for potion bottles, I'm afraid. <laughs> a little behind the times, you know. Oh, but hey, I do have a recipe for one potion around here somewhere. Did your horoscope say anything about needing a potion to dispel magic anytime soon? Uh, we've needed one for our last two adventures, so yes. Wow, I've never sold one of those. I'll have to look it up in my book. Hey, check this out in the pharmacopoeia. Wow, man. I've already got most of this stuff. There's the bee's knees and the ibis's ash eyelashes and the clear amethyst crystal. Out of sight. So, like, all I need now is some water from the pool of peace, a gift from the heart of the world, and, ah, oh, yuck, the fruit of a venomous vine. That really shouldn't be too much of a problem for a hero like you, should it? Oh, maybe good lord. You, maybe if you can get the missing ingredients, I'll make, I'll, like, make you up a dispel potion. What okay. What we needed the dispel potion for? Uh, the first game we needed it to dispel the, the, the we curse on Elsa. We needed it in Elsa. the second game for the curse on the dude. Yeah. In the cage. And then the first game, we needed it to remove the curse on the brigand leader, who was Elsa. I see. Plants are like people. They love to share their hopes, their dreams, and their finest feelings with you. Have you hugged a tree today? Well, not today, but... I had these really neat dreams about dancing with a tree. I dream I'm in this, like desert place with like golden sand and stuff i'm dancing with this tree you know and it's like changes suddenly this tree's like a woman and like she's beautiful it's really magical that's the tree from last time yeah let's tell them about her you tell about how you helped the enchanted tree woman julinar regain some hope while you were in shapir how extraordinary girl my dreams is real i'm so thrilled to hear of it i will leave for shapir in the next caravan there uh there's no caravan so don't worry about it <laughs> Okay, so let's see if we can buy something from him. Hey, this money's funny here. You need to take a trip to the money changer downstairs to buy, get some Atarna's cash before you can buy something here. Let's take a look at our I inventory. Mean, don't we have just, like, gold? We have dinars. There's a consistent theme in every single game that the money from one region does not carry over to the next region. That's kind of stupid. So for some reason, we have a fine dagger... And some throwing daggers, despite the fact that we have no skill in throwing. We do have poison cure pills, uh, two healing pills, and seven mana pills that we carried over from the last game. Mm -hmm. We only have one water skin, unfortunately. We have 20 rations. Holy shit. Uh, these special portion instant meal rations do last a long time and will keep you from starving to death. Uh, the sapphire pin is the uh, gift from the kata. Note from Shima. The outside of this note reads to Shala and Shima's flowing calligraphy. Before you left Shapir, Shima asked you to give this to the Kata and Darna. Okay. Mm. So we can't do anything else here. We told them about Julinar. We got some points. I like points. Don't we all? There's that hero theme. No, oh, fuck it. Thank you. It's really hard to click on the edges of the screen. Sorry. You see a good-looking young man. You see an older man with a contentious look and a twinkle in his eyes. This is the bizarre. Contentious or conscientious? Con contentious. Contentious. A contentious, okay. So this is the bizarre. If we talk to any of these people, we're just going to find out the same thing that Salim just told us. No. You need to get cash money from cash money place. Yep. 
Is that Dalzim? Maybe? Probably not. Yoga fire! Oh, dude. He's having a good time. Look, it's Catman. Yeah, we'll talk to Catman later. Oh. We'll talk to Catman do later. <clears throat> I was there waiting one, for you to make there, that horrible joke. Fresh fish, Effendi. Fresh out of the river and still writhing in the death throes. All right. How morbid. See ya. <laughs> for no apparent reason, I'm just going to save the game. I can spell, I swear to God. Well... Empirical evidence suggests otherwise, I know, but... Mm. Okay. Was it the moose head? You entered the north end of the bazaar and witnessed a dispute. What are you doing? That is not right. Stop him! Thief! Thief! Okay. Uh, cast fireball? I could. No. I might miss him, because he'll keep moving. I know. Was it the hold person or whatever? No, we don't have a hold person spell. The one that we need to do here is the calm spell. Right. To make people boring. And he falls <laughs> He falls asleep. Wow, that makes him really calm. <laughs> this matter is under control. This man is to be taken before the Hall of Judgment. All wrongs will be righted. You, stranger, shall accompany us to the Hall of Judgment as well. Because you cast magic in public. You're under arrest. <sighs> The Council of Judgment has determined that you, Harami, have broken the laws of Tana by taking things belonging to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything to say you wish to say before you are named Honorless? Eh, big deal. Then by the judgment of the Council and the laws of Tana, you, Harami, are now formally named Honorless. So you have acted, so you shall be. The Honorless One must leave the hall. The Council of Judgment now summons the Prince of Shapir. Open the gates! The Prince of Shapir did willfully use magic in the Bazaar of Tana in order to apprehend the Honorless One. The use of magic in the Bazaar is in direct violation of the laws of Tana. These are all late female lion tours, by the way. I'm just yes. giving them manly names or voices because I don't care. The Prince of Shapir is a stranger and unaccustomed to our laws. A magic user instinctively uses magic. Prince of Shapir did use his magic to prevent the escape of the Honorless One, thus I need my guards. However, the Prince of Shapir is still in violation of the laws of Tana. Prince of Shapir, swear by your honor that no, to no longer use your magic in the city of Tana, or else be banished immediately. My home is in the magic plane, apparently, and therefore exempt from this ruling. Acknowledged. Prince of Shapir, do you swear not to use the magic mm, use magic in the city of Tana except within Creature's domain? You agree, having no real choice other than banishment. Prince of Shapir is not to use magic within the city of Tana. Thanks for repeating that three times. King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. Well, I'll just use magic and teleport over. Wait you a may, second, no. You may enter into the presence of Raja Satana. Raja Satana, I stand before you. Rakesh Satana, you stand before me in honor. Yeah, Boy, they brothers. just love repeating each other. This is my friend, the Prince of Shapir. You tell the king that you are honored to be in his presence. Prince of Shapir, you stand before me in honor. Rakesh, you have brought you brought this Prince of Shapir to help you bring peace. How can a human be of such such service to a lion tour? So human, how do you propose to help Rakesh? Krisha is the magic user of this land. Do you think you can out enchant her? You answer Raja's question somehow. Very well. So this Prince what? of Shapir has come to bring peace and harmony to Tana. Boy, that's lazy writing. You grow too old, Rakesh, if you must depend upon a human for help. Your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. Does he have, like, a pipe coming out of his ear? That? Yeah. That's a sword. Oh. You need a human to speak up for you now, Rakesh. I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Raja. Rakesh, you of anyone should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rishaka was, is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the Leopardmen. Do not want revenge. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if it was Cheetah Men. The truth of what has happened to Rik <laughs> Rishaka has not been determined. What I know for certain about Rishaka, I will. When I know for certain about Rishaka, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. <laughs> Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. Rikishu. Human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? 
I'm a wizard. <laughs> uh, talk about Rakesh or talk about Shapir? Uh, Shapir? This is an interesting tale for human doll. Human, you may leave our presence now. I wish to speak further to Rakesh. All right. I love that line. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pure stupidity. Mindless revenge. Er, revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless, and mindless revenge is pure stupidity. AKA, what you're trying to do is kind of stupid, King. <laughs> Without saying you're an idiot. It, it's just, it's great. Uh, in case you haven't figured it out, and I'm sure that you have, the people of Tarna place an extreme importance on the matter of honor. Now, I don't fucking care about your daggers. I'm a, I'm a magic user. I want right. to get that moose head, though. The gold coin of Tarna is called the Royal. The brass common is coin is called the Common. These are the coins of the realm. Okay. Uh, exchange for this I must charge a fee of 10% of the amount exchange. Also, we'll trade 100 commons for one royal. Any rumors? There's tremendous inflation in Silmaria and that the exchange rate has bottomed out for the Mordavian coinage since no one can travel in or out of the country now. Oh, you mean local rumors. Sorry, I've not heard anything today. All I care about is changing money. <laughs> All I care about is complicated economics and the value of mercantilism. Yeah, so unlike the second game, it's not dependent on how much you change. His fee is flat. The reason that in the second game, the more you traded, the more she took, is because in the second game, she was the leader of the Thieves Guild. Sounds about right. Fruit, fruit, the musical fruit. Yeah, that's whatever. All right. Uh, next time on Characters like we're going to go on a shopping extravaganza. Get that moose head. We're not going to get the fucking... It's courtesy of the Recycled Prop Department of Sierra Online. Get it. And it's paper mache. Get it. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below it if you liked it. to you. And Tyler. Boos. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>